I'm in Glen Orkey at the head of the lake and uh, this is a little exhibition centre which tells you all about the history of the lake and the steamships that used to ply up and down here. Of course the TSS Urns Law is still working but the other ones um, have uh, fallen into disuse and then been scrapped so the Urns Law is the only one left. But it's quite amazing what everybody did in those days to get to the head of the lake. This is the head of Lake Wakatipu. So uh, that's as far as it goes. Down the other end, all the way down there, is Queenstown. So as to improve the natural environment, randomly scattered around New Zealand in these far and away places, we have these uh, little toilets, um, to known as a long drop, um, and they don't smell. It's coming across. This is the beginning of the Root Burn track, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at that view there. Um, so let's go and see what it's all about. Behind me is the shelter for the start of the Root Burn track. So lots of trampers start from there, and there are various huts scattered across the area. Um, it's obviously a very popular thing to do. There we go. Root Burn track. Oh, so there's a root burn nature walk. Flats hut is two and a half hours away. The Falls hut is two and a half to four hours away. Harris Saddle, Tarahaka, Wakatipu, four to six and a half hours. And you have to book them as well. And you can't take your doggy, your mountain bike or your drone. As usual, it's all amazingly spectacular. Look at that. This is the beginning of the root burn track. This is the junction point where there are two choices. You can either do the root burn track, which is the one that goes up into the distance, or you can do the short nature walk to the left. Return loop, 30 minutes. So I'll be going this way.
really another wibbly swing bridge. <laughs> 